that duty and that love that our NHS has been unbeatable. I want to pay my own thanks to the utterly brilliant doctors, leaders in their fields, uh, men and women, but several of them for some reason called Nick, who took some crucial decisions a few days ago, for which I will be grateful for the rest of my life. I want to thank the many nurses, men and women, whose care has been so astonishing. I'm going to forget some names, so please forgive me, but I want to thank uh, Poling and Shannon and Emily and Angel and Connie and Becky and Rachel and Nikki and Anne. And I hope they won't mind if I mention in particular two nurses who stood by my bedside for 48 hours when things could have gone either way. They're Jenny from New Zealand, in the Cargill on the South Island to be exact, and Luis from Portugal near Porto. And the reason in the end my body did start to get enough oxygen was because for every second of the night, they were watching and they were thinking and they were caring and making the interventions I needed. So that is how I also know that across this country, 24 hours a day, for every second of every hour, there are hundreds of thousands of NHS staff who are acting with the same care and thought and precision as Jenny and Luis. That is why we will defeat this coronavirus and defeat it together. We will win because our NHS is the beating heart of this country. Boris Johnson there thanking the staff uh, who he says acknowledges uh, helped save his life at St. Thomas's Hospital. Now, nationwide lockdown measures in the UK, which have been in place now for almost three weeks, are presenting a range of challenges.